the way you hold your knife, the way we dance till three, the way you've changed my life. No, no, they can't take that away from me. No, they can't take that away from me. In the second song and dance scene of Shall We Dance, Fred enacts his plan to win Ginger's heart, though there is real rough going at first. In this movie, Ginger's character is not as nice and easy as in the other movies. At the same time, their managers accidentally get together and soon this new partnership will lead to heartache for the new lovers. Both managers are against their clients' decisions for their own self-interest. Lynn, I still think you're a sap to walk out on me just to get married. No, I'm tired of living the kind of life I've been leading. Look, Lynn, I'll give you $10,000 more than I gave you last year. Oh, you don't understand. Your kind never does. Money isn't everything. But, Lynn, after all these years together... Arthur, I'm tired of being poured. I beg your pardon. My compliments, miss. And as for you, sir, shame. <laughs> <laughs> and where have you been all day? With that woman? Not that woman, Jeff. The woman. But I wasn't with her. Furthermore, she hasn't left her room all day. Darn it. Probably one of those night prowlers. But she's not going to prowl too near you, because I intend to accompany you all evening. What's the matter? What are you doing? What are you weaving about like that for? Weaving? Yes. I'm not weaving. <laughs> it's the boat. You mean this boat's doing that? Of course. It must be getting choppy out. Oh. Oh, of course. Oh. Oh. Why, Jeff, what's the matter? Oh, nothing, nothing. I, I, I'm all right, I think. I guess. Do you mind? Not at all. Oh, what's the matter, old man? It's the boat. The whole boat is weaving. Oh, what this gentleman needs is champagne. Champagne? No, no, no. I've never touched champagne in all my life. I refuse to touch it. Well, you can watch me then. Keep them coming. Yes, sir. <laughs> I want to explain. You see, I once saw a photograph of you, and I decided right then and there that I simply had to meet you. And I tried every way, but nobody in Paris seemed to know you, and... Everybody in Paris knows Linda Keene. Everybody worth knowing. Of course, but uh, I just don't seem to know the right people yet. Couldn't you do something about that right now, as one Yankee to another? I'm from the South. 
Maybe you all from the north. It's funny, dogs have an instinct for the right people. How do you like that? It's marvelous how you can do it with so many at one time. Let's drink to that. Stuart, another bottle of this lemon. You're going to bed. Must be late. What time is it? What does your watch say? It says tick, 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 tick. Hey, Jeffrey! Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, what's the matter? You lose something? Well, I don't see why you should have such a big head. You only had one glass. Yes, but you kept filling it. Your breakfast, sir. What'll I do? What'll I do? Well, before you do anything, you'd better put that breakfast away. That'll save me an extra trip. like this. Still on the same boat together. Oh, I seldom change boats in mid-ocean. At any gambling casino, from Monte Carlo to Reno, they tell you that a beginner comes out a winner. Beginner fishing for flounder will catch a 17-pounder. That's what I've always heard. And always thought absurd, but now I believe every word. For I've got beginner's luck. The first time that I'm in love, I'm in love with you. Gosh, I'm lucky. I've got beginner's luck. There never was such a smile or such eyes of blue. For this time is the one where the first time is the last time I've got beginner's luck, lucky through and through Cause the first time that I'm in love, I'm in love with you Lady Tarrington left this morning on the SS Marseille for a trip to America to visit her friends, Mr. and Mrs. Petrov who are aboard the SS Queen Anne. Upon further questioning, it was learned that the Petrovs have been married for some time. Will that be all, Miss Linda? Yes, thank you, Ty. And he's been secretly married to Linda Keene for some time. But a lovely looking couple, yes. don't you think? How 
I like about folks. Everyone's so friendly. Yeah. <laughs> a toast. He's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, which nobody can deny. Petrov, wake up. Wake up, Petrov. Wake up. We're going to have a baby. What? Huh? Why did you keep this a secret from me? What are you talking about? It's all here in the ship's bulletin. It says you've been married for years to Linda Keene, and the editor announces, quote, it is rumored that a blessed event is imminent, unquote. Why did this have to happen to me? To you, it hasn't even happened to me. Lady Tarrington. Uh-oh. Do you realize that you're the father of my child? It's very simple. You told Denise I was married, somebody selected a wife, and now I'm going to be a father. I'll do nothing of the kind. Jeff, if you want me to dance at the Metropolitan, you go into Linda and clear this thing up. Operator! Operator! Get me Mr. Petrov. What? Don't you dare congratulate me. I've come to tell you, Miss Keene, that we will not tolerate your insinuations. Stay where you are. While I compose myself. And there was one persistent wretch who, uh, well, to get rid of her, he said he was married to you. To get rid of her? So he used me to... Exactly. See, it wasn't altogether a joke. Good morning, little mother. I want to book passage on that mail plane. Oh, I'm sorry, but that's against government regulations. But I must leave the ship. It's absolutely urgent that I leave. Where's Linda? Oh, pardon me. Take a good look. Gosh, and I could have explained everything. You couldn't have explained her embarrassment and humiliation. Thanks. Now she's going to get married. Married? Yes. Married to a Park Avenue cluck with the longest yacht and the shortest chin ever christened. You've driven her to that. Me? I didn't do anything. Only told somebody you were married to her just to get rid of another dame. Only used her, that's all. Who said I did? Your impresario, Mr. Baird. Oh, he did. Excuse me, gentlemen, but in a few moments the fire bell will ring. But there's no need to pay any attention to it. Fire drill for the ship's crew. Right. Well, Jeff, did you tell Miss Keene that I used her to get rid of another woman? Those are my very words, dear boy. And one of these days, you're going to thank me for doing it. Thank you? Why, if I didn't need you to explain it to her, I'd... What is the matter with you, Petrov? Haven't you any feeling of responsibility for your art, for your company? You realize, because of your lies, the best musical comedy stars quitting show business? Oh, is that so? Well, that's no loss. It would be a loss if Petrov were mixed up with a lot of that cheap vaudeville. However, I've scotched all that, and I'm proud of it. Oh, it's a fire. The boat's on fire. Oh, is it? Well, uh, this boat? Ah! Of course! Yes! What are we going to do? You better get what? into this. Oh, I'm going to sue the company. Yeah, if we get out alive. I'll sue them. I'll sue them anyway. take this thermos and maybe stranded it on an island. Yes. And we'll need this for cold nights. Oh, I feel the flames. They're getting nearer and nearer. I not want head colds. No, no. Yeah, gentlemen, always dress, even on a tropical island. Oh, and this basket of fruit to eat. Yes, yeah. yes maybe on that island for quite a while. Oh, yeah. Time will hang heavy on her hands. Very, very we'll heavy. with a little golf. Golf, of course, yes. yes. Go ahead. This boat. Oh, station four. Station four. Have we got everything? Everything. Come on, fellas. Come on. Come right. on. Don't forget the blanket. Oh, I'll get the blanket. The four. Number there. Four. Four. All right, I'm here. Let it down. Let it down. What are you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> Please like and subscribe.